Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here. We hit 60,000 subscribers last week and I'm just like, wow. I create this video tutorial especially for you, my YouTube family. And I'm also going to do a pattern giveaway. So stay tuned until the end of the video. There will be a questions for you to answer in the comment section below and I will choose as many winners as possible. All right, let's get into the tutorial now. Before we start, I want to show you the top measurements and as you can see there already the number over there and my measurements everything is all right like everything is aligned except the bus measurement because the bus measurement my bus is only 34 inches and the top is 36 inches so the top is like two inches bigger than my bus and it's kind of like oversized looking i just want to point this out so you know the mistake and something that i forgot along the way and in the video tutorial i will show you where you have to check your measurement to make sure that it will fit you gratefully all right now let's get into the business <laughs> here's the materials you will need you need the dk weight yarn i use this one this is from rico design all the information about yarn use and how many yards and everything you will find in description box below and i use five millimeter hook a pair of scissors yarn needle and yeah some stitch marker and the most important thing is the measuring tape and for the guest swatch you will find the info in the description box below as well since this is a major long journey i want you to make a long chain that wrap around your shoulder and it has to be multiple of four plus three so for me i need to have 36 inches to wrap around my shoulder i have made 116 plus three and now i just going to make sure that my chain not twisted yeah now you slip stitch to form the ring and from now is our round one you're going to do the straight edge stitch which is make the first single crochet into the same stitch that you slip stitch and now make another single crochet but only on the left loop only like that one and this one we count as one double crochet skip next two chain and add two double crochet into the next one chain three and again add two double crochet into the same stitch And now this time you're going to skip three chain and you're gonna repeat that two double crochet chain three two double crochet into the next one so let's recap the first set of this let's say this shell stitch the first set you skip after you make the straight edge stitch you skip two but from now on after you make the set you will skip three so that is the repeating of this round okay so the shell stitch is a combination of two double crochet chain three two double crochet And to finish your round one, after you make your last set of the shell stitch, you skip two chain and add your last double crochet into the last chain of this uh, round. And yeah, to close the round, you slip stitch into the first thread edge that you made in the beginning. This is how we close the round. And now let's begin our round two. 
we start again with chain one and do our straight edge stitch which is single crochet into the same stitch and add single crochet again on left loop only this one we count one double crochet and now we're going to add shell stitch into that chain three loop it's so easy this round you're just going to add two double crochet chain three two double crochet into that chain three loop and this is what you're going to repeat on round two To finish round 2, we are adding our last double crochet into double crochet from the previous round. And now we're going to close the round again with slip stitch into our first straight edge stitch. You remember, we slip stitch again there. And this is how we finish our round 2. And from now on, we're going to repeat our round 2 for the off shoulder part or you may call yoke and whatever you call is the part that of the shoulder and yeah i have made my a total of six rounds and it's measured three and a half inches if you need more like the width bigger just go ahead keep repeating round two after you got the length of your design now it's time to separate the front and back and armhole and yeah for me i need 14 inches for the front so i take nine set for the front and eight set for the back and the left is a uh, six set for each of the armhole and I add the stitch marker you need to add the stitch marker for you know four corner front and back and you see that I measure again to make sure it's 14 inches and now let's begin the body part round one as you see before on the screen that I mentioned do not cut the yarn because we work from the back part where we left off from the yoke uh, you know the yoke part of the shoulder part <laughs> and now you're going to chain one and add your straight edge stitch which is single crochet and then single crochet again only on the left side on the left loop and this one we count at this round one half double crochet now you're gonna add one half double crochet in each of the next two double crochet And in that chain 3 loop, you add 2 half double crochet in there. And now again, you're going to meet the double crochet. So you add 1 half double crochet in each of the next 2 double crochet. So basically, in 1 shell stitch or 1 shell set, you add um, 6 half double crochet. Because again, look, this is the repeating again one half double crochet in each of the next two double crochet and two half double crochet inside of that chain three loop and one half double crochet in each of the next two double crochet so you can already see one set you have add six half double crochet and again this is the repeating you're going to do from where you are you're going to do that until you meet your stitch marker which is where we're going to create the chain for our armhole. So go ahead. Here I am at the stitch marker and I add my last two half double crochet in that chain three loop. And from here I will begin to make my underarm chain. And yeah, where is the mistake begin? Because I should have made only 15 chain. I did 23 chain which major six inches and it was a little bit too long for me and the mistake was that I didn't major again after I have made two rounds of half double crochet I will show you where you should major so I would tell you to if you make a small size like me just make 15 chain and then I will show you where to major to make sure that fit you and because this 23 chain is major 6 inches it's a little bit too big I will make another one just 15 chain to have 4 inches so I would say make 15 chain if you make small size and medium and for large and bigger than that just make 23 chain and after that I will show you where to check if it's going to work or not but for now just make the chain to 
you know, complete your round one of the body part. After you got your shank done, you're going to make uh, connect on the front panel because we work from the back panel, right? So into the other stitch marker, you're going to add two um, half double crochet there. Make sure your chain not twisted. We do two half double crochet because we connect it into the chain tree loop over there. And then we add two half double crochet in each of the next two double crochet and just, you know, continue in the shell stitch like I showed you before until you arrive into the other side and you know you meet a stitch marker again then chain 23 again this was my mistake and you see on the screen the stitch count that I have in this round one so we have done our round one there will be no slip stitch and no beginning chain to start round two we simply add half double crochet into the first stitch of round one which was the straight edge stitch and yeah, this round is going to be preparing round of the multiple of three. Since I have 141 stitches from round one, I don't have to make any adjustment anymore. But if you don't have the multiple of three, you need to do some adjustment here in this round two. You're either going to do some decreasing or increasing to have the multiple of three. And don't forget to add your stitch marker in the first stitch of your round two because we don't have any slip stitch, no beginning chain, so it's going to blend in with everything else that's coming along. Just make sure you add the stitch marker. And right after this round, when you finish this round, you will need to major your work, and I will tell you again once we get there. So this round, simply add half double crochet when you come to the chain part, which is underarm hole, the chain for the underarm, you're going to add also half double crochet in each of those single crochet. So do that. For me, I'm going to add 23 half double crochet because I have 23 chain in this part. And then when you get into the front part, you will add half double crochet in each stitch across until you arrive to the other side which is the other side that you have 23 chain i don't know how many chain you have but i have 23 chain in this piece so i'm going to do that also the same thing on the other side as well on that chain and then back to the back panel like half of it and going to where i have the stitch marker So my round two, I have a total of 141 half double crochet, which is a multiple of three. And here we go. You have to lay your work flat. And this part where I forgot to measure my work, you have to measure your work right now. I need to have actually 34 inches here, but I didn't measure it. And I just continue with the legs design, like the bubble stitch design I'm going to show you. But for you, you have to measure at this point. And if it's too big or too small, you have to fix, go back to round one again and fix your underarm chain until you got the right number, then you can continue. For now, let's do round three. So round three, we begin with double crochet in the first stitch. And now we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next one. Now we go back to double crochet where we have skipped the stitch before. See, you make the little X right there. I have to put back the stitch marker. You're going to do that every round, okay? Some round, I'm not going to show you in the video anymore, but you have to always put the stitch marker in your beginning stitch, always, okay? And now, what we're going to do, we're going to add double crochet into the next stitch. And this is already the repeating, okay? You're going to skip the next stitch and add double crochet into the next one like you just did before and now go back behind do the double crochet behind that to the stitch you have skipped so we call this the twisted double crochet then okay now add double crochet into the next stitch and again add a twisted double crochet by skip the next stitch 
and add double crochet to the to the next one, and come back to add the double crochet to where you skip it. And again, double crochet to the next one. Just repeat this around until you finish this round, and I meet you there. And now, time for the questions. <laughs> so. You need to put in the comment section. Let me know that you are my subscribers. You say subscribe and answer three questions. The first one: What is your shoulder circumference measurement? And what is your bust measurement? And what is your waistline measurement? So, just three questions that you actually need to answer to yourself in order to make this top. Write that down in the comment section and don't forget to say subscribe. So this way, I know that you have subscribed. All right, good luck, and I will choose the winner in the upcoming video. This round ending with twisted double crochet. So this should be your last. Stitches for this round. Okay, done. For round four, we're going to increase one stitch. I will show you at the end. We start off with one single crochet to the first stitch, chain two. Now add the bubble stitch inside the between twisted double crochet from previous round. You should have seven loops. On your hook, yarn over, pull through all seven loops, chain two, single crochet into next double crochet. Again, so chain two, you do the bubble stitch again, yarn over. Insert hook in next stitch in the between stitch. Yarn over, draw yarn through stitch, and up to level three times. You need to have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through seven loops, chain two, single crochet into the next double crochet. Again, chain two, add the bubble stitch into the between twisted double crochet from previous round. Chain two, single crochet in next double crochet. So this is the repeating of this round. You are round four. Continue that to the end of the round, and here we are at the end of the round. You're going to add this your last bubble there. Chain two, and here where we're going to do increasing. You're going to add the single crochet exactly where your first single crochet is. So you share the same stitch of where you have made your first single crochet, and here is the extra single crochet that you have made. For round five, we're going to start with chain one, and we do the straight edge stitch. But this time, instead of two single crochet on top of each other, we do three. Because we're going to count this stitch as one treble crochet. The design of this round five is going to be treble crochet and the twisted double crochet. The twisted we do this way, this round inside of chain two loop. So we skip the first chain two loop. We have also that bubble stitch in between. We don't care about the bubble stitch at the moment. We add double crochet in the chain two loops, and then we come back. To the chain two loop that we skipped, and this is what we did now: the twisted double crochet. And you will see there is a single crochet waiting for you. You're going to add treble crochet there. And this is the repeat already of this um, round. So again, you're going to skip the next chain two loop, and you will see that you will have the bubble stitch in between. So just know that it's there. Just add double crochet into the next chain two loop, and then come back behind, adding double crochet to the chain two loop you skipped. 
and again treble crochet to the next single crochet so this is what you're going to repeat until the end of the round and here at the end of the round you're going to add your last twisted double crochet And this round you're ending it with treble crochet in your last single crochet. So round five has made. For round six, you're gonna start with single crochet into the first stitch. chain 2 and the bubble stitch into the between twisted double crochet chain 2 now you're going to add single crochet into the next stitch which is treble crochet and now the repeating start chain two, bubble stitch into the twisted double crochet stitch. Chain two and single crochet into the next uh, treble crochet from previous round. So just continue that until the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. You're going to end this round with single crochet into that last treble stitch from previous round. From now on, you're just going to repeat round 5 and round 6 for the pattern. Make sure that your last repeat of the round is round 5. So I have made a total of 13 rounds and it's major from the yoke to the last round approximately 8 inches. At this point, my top hit right above my waistline and I want to do some decreasing from here on. So for the decreasing rounds, we need the twisted double crochet stitch because we're going to add the half double crochet only on those stitches. But we're going to start with our first half double crochet into that first stitch. And now we're going to add half double crochet in next stitch which is the twisted double crochet so it's like a two stitches together there and then you're going to skip the next treble crochet we're not going to do anything there and only add half double crochet again on those double crochets twisted or twisted double crochet and this is the repeat thing skip the next treble crochet and add half double crochet in the next two double crochet and again skip it the next treble crochet add half double crochet in each of the next two of the twisted double crochet and now at the end you're going to end this last round with one half double crochet on the last treble crochet so it's just the beginning of the stitch and the last stitch that you put the half double crochet on that treble crochet okay and this round i have made a total of 96 half double crochet from now on the rest of the rounds that come you're going to just do half double crochet and some decreasing which i'm going to show you how i decrease and this is how i decrease i add half double crochet two together this way i only poke the hook into the front stitch this way the stitch of decreasing is not so obvious and this is how i decrease and I'm just going to add half double crochet across and I make sure that I'm not decreasing the stitch too close to each other. So let's say I'm going to decrease 8 stitches in this round. I'm going to do 4 stitches at the back and 4 stitches at the front. And here I have made my round 15 a total of 88 half double crochet. And here's what I did on round 16, 17 and 18. 
you can decrease more or less it's very up to you because i want my waistline to be 28 inches here the bust measure 36 inches which is two inches bigger than my bust but it's okay actually i kind of like it i'm wearing it right now and it's make my bust look so big <laughs> with this ruffle around the bust and let's measure on the waistline together so i am to have the waistline 28 inches and it's perfect so yeah just go ahead do the decreasing as much as you need to fit your body try it on and see how it fit you and how you like and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you have any questions just leave them under this video in the comment section below i'm going to help you when you leave the comment under this video because this way everyone can see it too and this way we all can learn together and if you want to see the next project or the next piece of this one you can follow me on instagram because i'm going to make the next one the same design but just you know fit me better this time <laughs> all right i see you next video Make Make sure to subscribe and click that button like the bell button if you want to get a new tutorial delivered to you at your door and also give me a massive thumbs up my friends if you love this video